On this episode, I'm going to be installing the cheapest and least ricey tow hook I could find on an Evo 8. So I plan to track the Evo a few times this year. Uh, it should be some low-key fun in comparison to the usual race car stuff. Um, should be pretty chill. But um, I want at least some type of tow hook on here if I'm taking it to the track. Uh, if you've ever been to the track, the last thing you want to do is have a mechanical breakdown or a wreck and the wrecker comes on track and you have nothing to hook on to. Now every car has something to hook on to usually. Um, for example, if you have an STI, there'll be a little box right here and you can actually screw in the stock tow hook. So you never need a stock tow or to do an aftermarket tow hook on a Subaru. Um, and even the Evo has uh, some tow hooks down here if I get a light. But the problem is the stock tow hooks are super low. Usually you have one uh, right there. And there'll be one on the left right there now they're good to tie down to a trailer with but they're not good to actually tow on a truck they're just uh, the bumper sits down too low and if you actually hook a, a wrecker up to it that truck's just gonna rip the bumper off so I bought the cheapest thing I could find which is like $17 off Amazon it's the Sparco tow strap um, I bought that to try to get a better solution for this. The back of the Evo is fine. The where the tow hook is on that, the angle when you're getting towed shouldn't be a big deal. But I just want to do something quick for this. Um, looking around, there's not much, uh, not many places to think of. But I still have the stock crash beam, and uh, they have little holes cut out for the intercooler. If you know what I'm talking about, and I'm just gonna bolt it out to there and uh, take this thing out. The cool thing about that is um, there's a little part in the bumper where I could actually tuck this up when I'm not at the track so I don't look like a ricer out on the street. So I'm going to take the bumper off and um, it should just be easy as taking the bumper off, drilling a hole and uh, bolting the thing on and taking this off. So I just wanted something quick. I don't want to spend too much time on it. I got a lot of other stuff to take care of. So before I took the bumper off, I did some investigation to make sure we have clearance. Um, the bumper is actually really tight against the bottom of this, but there's room for the top for a nut. So I think I'm just gonna drill a hole here. Um, we'll bolt it on the bottom and then put the nut on top since we actually have some clearance uh, putting the bumper on and off. So I got out my measuring tape and a center punch and some centering bits, and I was gonna mark it right in the middle, but um, there's this convenient hole right here that'll just be way easier and it looks like it'll fit so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I was gonna put in the center but I'll just put it right there and bolt it in be a lot easier just drill the drill bit then do there uh, do it once and then uh, make it a little wider for a bigger bolt
have the shortest M12 I can find and an M12 nylock. I can't get it up this way, so I'm just going to drop it through. And that's the quickest way I can think of to get a tow hook on the front of your Evo 8. It looks kind of stupid, so I'm glad I can kind of tuck it up under there when I'm driving on the street, but uh, that'll get the job done. Well, that's it for today. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a lot more work on the Evo over the next month or two to get a track ready. Uh, it's basically, I can track it right now, but there's some things I want to get done. I'm doing uh, new suspension bushings, doing a front motor mount, drive shaft bushings, and uh, I need to get a wide band in there. And then uh, I think that's about it, so stay tuned.